Hey everybody, welcome back to another one of my videos. I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I just kind of want to show you a code pin that I had laying around. I was kind of going through my old code pins and just deleting all the ones that I don't use. And I came across this little gem where when you click on it, you have some side navigation that slides out with a cool little rounded border effect. You see how it kind of bounces back. I thought that was pretty interesting and that I should share it with you all. Now I'm not going to go through all the code. You're welcome to check out this link and, you know, use what you want from it. I'll tell you some of the dependencies we're using. So if I look at the JavaScript, we are using jQuery because this uses Bootstrap, I believe, and it also uses something called GSAP. And for the CSS, I believe I'm using Bootstrap just so I can have those cool little icons. And then also I'm using a font family called Dosis from Google Web Fonts. So again, this code is so old, so I don't know how well it translates to, you know, the modern versions of these libraries and frameworks. So let's just go ahead and look through really quick. The HTML is straightforward. We just have some navigation with a bunch of duplicate links and every link has an icon with a text. And we style those with probably a CSS transition to just change the background color to a, a lighter gray and then change the color of the font to a white. So there's nothing too special going on there. And then finally down here at the bottom, we have this little Chevron right slash left arrow, I believe. All right, so that is the HTML, the CSS. Let's look at this real quick. I'm not gonna really go into depth on this, but if you want to, you can check all this stuff out. But yeah, I think the main thing I wanna kind of mention is the JavaScript, which is the interesting part, because this is using something called GSAP. So GSAP is a library that you can use on your DOM elements to kind of good, get some really good transitions. And if we look at the main function, so when I click on this Chevron here, it's going to take an if statement and check if the nav bar has been collapsed or not. So the first thing it says is if it's been collapsed, then we need to expand it and otherwise we need to collapse it. So let's look at this code first. If we click on the Chevron, it's going to take the nav bar and within 0.3 seconds, it's going to basically change the width to zero. So basically bring the width in the zero and it's also using a certain um, ease. So you notice that it quickly goes in and then it slows down. That is power for ease out. And there's different ones. There's like bounce and elastic and stuff, but this one's a pretty nice one to use. It, it's good for animations that are kind of going away. Um, and if you, you probably want to use in, ease in if it's something that's, you know, you're pulling into the page, something that is new to the user because you want to see it come in quick and then slow down before it comes to a rest. And then the second thing is we're reducing the opacity to zero as well. And that's going to be a duration of three seconds. So two things happen when we click on the close. Width goes away and the opacity goes away. And then we also change some classes down here, but uh, nothing too special there. The interesting part, though, is when you slide it out, we do a couple things. So the first thing is we are setting the opacity to zero for navigation. I'm not sure why we're doing that, to be honest with you all, but that must be doing something. Uh, but the bar, so what we do is we're setting the border top radius right and border bottom radius right of 50%. So that is gonna basically make it be a circle as it comes out. And then we want to basically animate that back down here, back to a square. So that is how we do it. And these are just different um, values you can uh, supply for the duration. So this should run um, right off the bat. And then over here in 0.3 seconds, it is going to basically change the width of the bar to 270. So that is basically what's bringing it out. And notice here we're using ease out. I'm not sure what, I'm not sure what this is, honestly. I have to look it back up. So this is a bad tutorial video, I'll be honest with you all. But I thought this was some cool, cool little animation I did a long time ago. Uh, over here, though, I kind of explained this, is we're bringing it out and going from a circle to a square. This thing is basically, this little argument here is telling you where in the timeline this should happen. So because this takes 0.3 seconds to fully expand out, halfway through that, we start changing the rounded edges to be um, squares. So I'm saying like in 0.3 seconds, start doing this animation. And that animation will take 20, uh, a fourth of a second. And then finally we set the, the opacity to full uh, and that's going to be a four second. So you notice that it slides out and it gets, so you'll notice that as it's sliding out, the text inside of the navigation starts to become um, opaque. 
so not transparent but opaque and then you can view it and that's about it so yeah i just thought this was really cool so <laughs> i just kind of wanted to share with you all this isn't really a tutorial video i'm not really showing you how to build this you can go check out the code yourself but i guess the main takeaway is there are some cool libraries out there you can use to facilitate your ability to build really nice smooth animations in your browser and i've used gsap in the past on a couple of projects and it's my go-to library for animations and there are a couple of other libraries out there that kind of achieve the same um, functionality as gsap so if you have used any of those let me know but yeah i'll post a link to this code pin in my description if you're interested in trying to just look through the code yourself that's really all i had to share with you in this video today so have a great day